is Janie. Welcome back to the Bookworms, a buddy. It is time to talk about my um, challenges for this year. You guys know I do a lot of challenges, and I'm going to be repeating those challenges again for this year. So the challenges I'm doing is the A through Z challenge, the TBR challenge, the blind author challenge, and then we have a new one, the 52 book challenge, or the 26 book challenge, just two separate ones. And then, of course, I want to talk about my series of them. Um, <clears throat> So you guys know when I do my A through Z challenge, I always just, I'm down to the last month and I still have letters to do. And that's because I duplicate so many letters. So this year I am doing it a little bit differently. Um, I've made myself up a list from A through Z and I've got several books for each one of them. So most of them I've got at least three books, three or four books to choose from for each letter. So this will be my guide to start and I can um, check off books that I accomplished and then not go back and read another A. Let's go and read a B or a C. So I think that this is going to help me to um, get that A through Z challenge done in a timely manner. So um, this is going to be a huge guide for me this year, and I'm looking forward to doing the A through Z challenge again. And I did complete the A through Z challenge last year, and I plan on completing it again this year. The only ones that I really have problems with is X and Z, and yeah, sometimes Y, but I got a couple books this year with Y. Um, so usually here's a tip for you guys I go on Amazon and if I don't have the money to spend then I'll look for free books and I'll go through there and look for my X's or my Z's and that kind of stuff um, you can always also look up on Goodreads the the alphabet list they list books with specific letters that you can try and read um, also another good tip is try to find classics if there's classics with those letters because you can a lot of times you can get classics for free on Amazon for Kindle so yeah. Um, the next challenge is the TBR challenge and what this is is we go through our TBR and we try to get at least 10 to 15 books off that TBR read for the year. And I always get this one done as well. Um, you can either choose them read up front or choose from your TBR as you go and you can put them down. So it helps us to get through our TBR lists because we all know how big our TBR lists can get. So that's very helpful doing that challenge. Um, the next challenge that we have is the Blind Author Challenge. And this challenge is to find at least five new authors to read each year. You can spread those authors around and other people can read them too. And there's just a lot of authors I know of that I have not read. And I like finding new authors. And I think it's helpful if I can say, hey, I read her stuff. Here, try her out or him out or, or what have you. So it's always... It's always nice to find a new author instead of, you know, sticking to those go-to authors that we all love. So I like to expand my horizons and find new authors, and it's, it's just really a lot of fun. Um, and then the new challenge we got is the 52-book challenge, but there's also a smaller one, which is the 26-book challenge, which cuts that in half. But if you think about it, if you do 52 books, it's only a, a book a week. And that is easily done for me, but what my issue is is some of the challenges that there is to do that I think I would have a hard time doing. So my sister actually shared this challenge with me on Facebook. So I thought, hey, I'll take that to my um, Goodreads group and we can all do this challenge too. So on this one, there are 52 different challenges that point you in the direction of a book that falls into that category and you read them as you go. Now, another thing to be said about this, if you can't do all 52 challenges in a year, then, you know, even to do half of them, you know, or or keep it for a couple years, whatever. But if you find a book, you know, and then mark it off on your list and you can use the same book for several of these challenges, just like you can do for any of the readathons or challenges that we do here on BookTube. So um, I'm going to read you these 52 challenges. And the 26th book challenge has the same has the same out of these. So there's nothing new on the 26th book one. They're included on the 52. So I just went for the 52 one. If I get 26 of them, that's great. 
Okay, so here we go. A book you read in school. So you have to go back to school days and pick a book that you read in school. This is going to be hard for me because there's only one book that I can remember that I read in school, and that was In Cold Blood by Truman Capote, and I hated it. I think maybe now that I'm older, I probably would enjoy it more. It was for a class called Great Books. So I think now I could probably pick it up and enjoy that book. So we'll see. A book from your childhood. That one's simple for me. A book published over 100 years ago. And for me, I think I'm going to do a Jane Austen book for that one. A book published in the last year. A nonfiction book. I will have a problem with that because I don't really like nonfiction. But I'm thinking maybe I can find something. A book written by a male author and a book written by a female author. A book by someone who isn't a writer. A book that became or is becoming a film. A book published in the 20th century. A book set in your hometown or your region. A book with a name in the title. A book with a number in the title. A book based on a true story. A book someone else recommended to you. A book with over 500 pages, which that one's easy for me because I read a lot of books over 500 pages. A book you can finish in a day. A previously banned book. And you can get a list of banned books on the internet. A book with a one word title. A book translated from another language. A personal growth book. A memoir or journal. A book by someone younger than you. A book set somewhere you'll visit this year. That one would be tough because I don't plan on visiting anything but Indiana later this year, probably for Christmas. Yeah. Um, and an award winning and award winning book. A book you were supposed to read in school but haven't yet. That's going to be difficult for me. A book with a character with your first name. Again, difficult. A book with a place in the title. A book set in the future. A play. A scary book. A funny book. A book of short stories, a trilogy or a series, we'll stick with the trilogy, <laughs> a bestseller, a book you own but haven't read yet, yeah, that's easy, a book about philosophy, an epic poem, a Victorian novel, a book, <clears throat> a book of poetry, a book with a color in the title, <clears throat> a book with an appealing cover. A book about psychology, that's difficult. A book about science. A graphic novel, again, tough one because I don't, well, I have a graphic novel, don't I? Because I did get one. Heroes, maybe I'll read that one. A self-published book. A book out of your comfort zone, which we put that one in there because a book based on a true story was twice, so 47 um, was the same as number 14. So we changed that one to a book of, out of your comfort zone. A famous author's first novel. A book of nonfiction essays. A book by an author you haven't read before. Simple. A book set in a country you've never been to. Also easy for me. A book set in the place you live today. And for that one, you can just take your state. Don't You don't have to take your like your city or town, because that's really difficult. So that is the 52 books, or book reading challenge for 2017, and there's all the challenges. Um, so if you want to get in on this, just send me a message or go to Bookworms Buddies, um, which is where my group is on Goodreads, and we have this challenge there. All these challenges are listed on Bookworm Buddies, and we'd love to have you come over and join it. I will link to that in the description box below. You guys can come check out the group. See if you'd like to be a part of it. We have a lot of fun. We don't base the group on reading a monthly book. Um, it is based on buddy reads. So come check it out. It's, it's a lot of fun. A lot of great people over there. So those are my challenges. I also have the series of thon but I'll come back to you later on the series of thon since I just did a series of thon update, I think, in December. So I decided not to do a series of thon video right now. I will do one later, maybe spring or so, and we can see where I'm at on series at that point. So what challenges are you guys doing? Let me know in the comments below, and we will talk about it. Thanks, guys, for staying tuned, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.